Hello everyone, Old Hippie Gamer here. Today I am going to show you how to get Wizardry 8 to work on Windows 10. Now, if you're like me and you've had trouble doing this, if you bought the game off Steam and you couldn't open it through Steam, there is a solution to this problem. Do not open it in Steam. There's your solution. Now, what you got to do is you go into your file manager, your file, file explorer, and go into your hard drive here. Uh, whichever hard drive it is, C or D, I don't know which one you have. You go to program files, double click that, and then go down here to your Steam application, uh, Steam folder, open that, double click it, then look for Steam apps, double click that, and then go to common and double click on that. And then there, there you see all your games that you've downloaded from Steam. Now go to Wizardry 8, the program you're trying to get to work. Double click on that folder. And it's going to bring up this, everything that's in this right here. So you want to get to 3D Setup right here. And you want to get to End Glide Configuration as well. If you haven't already done this from the Steam window, then you can do this here. And then there, this here is your actual Wizardry 8 application. So go into your 3D setup first, or the other one, doesn't matter which one you do first really. Wait for this to load up. And here you're gonna find that default setting was 800 by six, uh, uh, 600 by 16. So you wanna change that to either your 1024, 78, or 1280, 1024. This is what I've got mine set on. Everything else you can pretty much leave the same. Uh, you can change any of these to fit your computer, however it's set up. And also the same over here. Uh, I just left mine to where they were on default and, and uh, it worked out pretty good. I went ahead and did the test sound, which this is all it does. It doesn't make any noise or anything. It just says the device initialized correctly. So just to verify that, make sure it's doing, and then hit OK. And that's all you have to do. That's on the setup. Now go down to your end glide configuration, double click that, and it'll bring up this window. The default on this is 800 by 16. Again, it's going to say by default, but it's usually 800 by 600. That's what the game originally was. Uh, but you want to change that to the resolution that fits your screen better. So I went with the 1280 by 720. That works on mine really good. Um, there are a lot of other settings that you can use, but this one works best for mine. And then you want to make sure it's fit to screen. Uh, you can try the 4.3, but I, I leave it on fit to screen. Uh, the uh, refresh rate is set by default, but you, I changed mine to 144. You can change yours however best fits yours. But 144 works really good on mine. Everything else I just left on default, and then that's all there is to it. You exit out of that. And you're set up. So next all you got to do is just double click your application here. And it'll start up your game. I would do it here, but then it stops my recording when I'm doing it. So I don't want to do that. But it does work. And uh, I'm going to do some videos on Wizardry 8 uh, here shortly. And hopefully it's going to work right. I haven't played this game in a long time. And it is a lot of fun to play. I love this game. It's a turn-based game. That's the only bad thing I don't like about it. But the whole storyline in the game is it's a blast. So if, if you're a Wizardry 8, Wizardry 8 fan like myself, you're going to love this game. Uh, I, I know you're going to love playing it again. So anyway, that's all there is to it. So good luck, and I hope this works for you. Leave a comment below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and like and share this if you, if you really enjoyed this. If not, do it anyway. <laughs> so Old Hippie Gamer signing out for the night. I will see you next time, guys. Bye.